Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if this is your first time dropping into the channel, welcome. The video you are about to see is part of a video we previously released, but we're editing uh, out the portion and putting it in here around how to make a big dough. Mm -hmm. So you've been getting a lot of questions and We've seeing a lot of questions. We've had a lot of requests uh, for how to make our big dough. So we decided to take this uh, biga uh, footage and just put it into this uh, video by itself. So some of you may have already seen it, but if you're interested in how to make biga dough, uh, here's Lori uh, showing you how to do it. And this biga is from Kitchen and Craft. And the link will be in the to the recipe will be in the description box. You bet. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Well, I'm making, uh, first step of making this vega dough is preparing the vega, and it only is, takes minutes to do. It's got 325 grams of flour, an eighth teaspoon of instant dry yeast, which you can add directly to the flour, and you mix in 228 grams of warm water. And you can use your hands or you can use a dough whisk, which is what I like to use. You just want to make sure the flour is fully hydrated. You don't need to knead it really. And this cover up with clean film once the water has been added and set it aside for 12 hours. And that's it. You just, we're going to uh, leave this at room temperature. Hi, uh, this is Lori again and it's been 24 hours since we made our Vega. And now we're going to start making our pizza dough. So our vega has risen, it's in this bowl. It's a little puffier than it was yesterday. And uh, so I'm going to add 18 grams of salt to 222 grams of water, warm water. We just make, mix it together. Kind of get it to dry slightly. And so what I want to do is incorporate the flour and the water together. So I'm going to add the water. And I find the easiest way to mix these two together is just using my hand. So this is um, 340 grams of flour. And I want to make sure that the vega and the flour are fully incorporated. So that might take about five minutes. So just be careful as you're mixing it together. Get it all incorporated. And after this stage, we're going to let the uh, flour and Begin and everything fully hydrate, and we're going to set it aside for about at least 20 minutes. Yeah, so you just want to kind of pinch everything together. And so I'll see you in about 25 minutes. Okay, now this is the third step in the process. Our vega dough has uh, fully hydrated. It's been at least 20 minutes. Uh, you can make this step longer, whatever is convenient. I'm going to put some flour on my um, counter or table. And I'm going to use a scraper to get my dough out of the and this dough is pretty sticky, so you might need to add a little bit of extra flour. And I'm going to knead this dough just for a few minutes until the ball becomes pretty smooth. 
And if you need to add more flour, you can. This is already a pretty smooth ball. This dough has a really nice texture already. It is kind of sticky. You can add more flour if it's sticking to you, but you don't need to, um, you don't really want to add a whole lot. See, this dough has already really come together. I like the way it feels. So I'm going to uh, just get it into a ball and uh, and you can use your scraper to kind of help you shape it. Put it into a bowl and you want to coat it with a little oil and we're going to let it rise now for another two hours. So I'll see you then. And make sure you cover your um, dough ball with some plastic film to keep it from drying out. Well, we're back. And this is part four of making a Bika pizza dough. And we're ready to divide and ball. Uh, you can use a scale if you want to. And I should mention that this is a 65% hydration dough and it makes four balls of about 290 grams. And I've already put flour on my surface um, and I'm going to use this bench scraper to get the dough ball out. So I'm going to divide this into four pieces. So what I'm going to do is make a log. And I don't really use a scale, so I kind of just portion it and kind of see if it's even. Um, in the original video, um, he put his dough balls, I just see if they're about the same size. <laughs> and he put his dough into oil individually oiled plastic containers but uh, I don't really haven't done that uh, I put it on a flour tray and I cover it with plastic wrap and let it I'm gonna let the balls sit there and I'm gonna fold them into themselves and make a really nice ball and I put it on a flour tray and I cover it with plastic wrap and this dough is really nice. I mean, if you're a dough aficionado, which I've become one, I really love handling really nice dough. You really want to have the dough balls nicely tucked into themselves because then they rise a lot better. The more of the gas gets trapped. That's my personal opinion. And I would take my time to make your dough balls. Like this one, see, that's not very well formed. So I'm going to redo it. I just tuck it nice and tight. And if you if it's sticky, you can use your bed scraper to help you. Put it here. And I'm going to cover them with a little bit of flour. And if you put it in a plastic container, I guess you would just keep the oil coating there. So, as I said, we're going to let these sit uh, for two more hours at room temperature. And you can cover it with a damp towel, too, to keep them from drying out. Well, we hope for those of you that are interested in how to make Bigo dough, this video has been helpful. 
As always, your comments and questions are always appreciated. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. And what do we always say? Like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, see you next time. See you next time.